He shouldn't be giving our PA announcer, Tom Sawyer, a hard time. He brought me a bunch of free pencils. Shouldn't give him a hard time at all. Uh, Going to wrap up our Farmers Bank and Trust pregame show. Stick around. We've got Panther Baseball as they take on the camp. And Fairview Cardinals next. This is Panther Baseball. Okay, Bobo. I think I've got it now. Being in the rocking chair means you are driving in between two 18-wheelers. That's right. When they ask, what's your 20, that means where are you? That's right. And a state trooper is called a Smokey? You got it, Abby. Have you ever gotten a speeding ticket by a Smokey? No. I remember now. You got stopped on the turnpike. That Oklahoma Smokey gave you a ticket, all right, but it was going too slow. He said you drove up in Grand Abby, I'll give you $100 to tell me who you've been talking to. No way, Bobo. Keep on trucking. Call Bobo's is trucking at 870-234-2803. Vicol Bank has known the benefit of hometown banking for over 120 years, and we are proud to offer you just that with local leadership and local decisions. Hi. I'm Gina Gore, Vice President of Bodcall Bank. Come see us in Stamps or visit one of our other locations in Magnolia or Texarkana. We are committed to making your experience as our customer priority one. Whatever your banking needs may be, Bodcall Bank is here and ready for what's ahead. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Dale and Glass looks like he is ready to go. There's his last warm-up pitch, and we're about ready to play some baseball as they throw it down to second base defensively for the Panthers. Gage Clover is at third. Brayton Sanchez, the shortstop. Turner Alston is at second. And the first baseman is D.J. Marshall around the outfield. Left field, Jackson Touch. Camden Smith is in center, and Jack Waller is in right field the pitcher dale and glass and behind the plate is jack stevens zach moorhead leads it off for the cardinals first pitch to him from glass on the way fastball high for ball one zach moorhead the left fielder then the dh grant jeffus and the right fielder maury utzi do up here in the top of the first and if anybody gets on landon morgan is their cleanup he's their first baseman pitch comes there's uh that was about a letter high. He's going to call that one a ball, too. Two balls, no strikes to Zach Moorhead. Moorhead bats from the left side. And the pitch from Glass on the way. That'll be low. Three balls, no strikes. Moorhead stepped out. He's back in. Glass is ready. Here comes his 3-0 pitch. There's a strike the outer part of the plate, right about letter high. That's the same height as uh, one of the previous ones, but that one was a little more in. Three balls, one strike to Moorhead. Glasses pitch, fast ball, strike. And on the inner part of the plate, down at the knees. Moorhead has not swung the bat yet. Three balls, two strikes is the count. Glass nods yes, has the pitch that he likes. Now delivers, and it's foul back and out of play. Count remains full, three balls, two strikes. Cloudy skies, no rain in sight. I'm guaranteeing, but uh, the line of thunderstorms is way off to the west. Here's the 3-2. That's up, ball four. So leadoff walk for Zach Moorhead. And it'll bring... Grant Jeffus, their DH to the plate. That's, I think, roughly seven pitches that uh, Glass threw to the uh, leadoff batter for the Cardinals. Grant Jeffus steps in. He bats from the right side. He's their DH. Pitch on the way. Shows bunt. Bunts it back over the backstop and out of play. Strike one. Coaching signs from his uh, head coach, Troy Keith, coaching down third base, throw to first, runners back. I'm not sure over at first if that is uh, Coach Carmody or Coach Baldwin, but it's one or the other. Showing butt once again is Jeffus. 
Here's the 0-1. He pulls it back and he swings and fly ball out to left center field. That is deep and it's going to burn both the left fielder and center fielder out the gap going back to get it. Left fielder touch. Touch gets it back to the infield. Got through Sanchez, but no further advancement by the runners. That'll be a double into left field off the bat of Jeffus. Again, Jeffus, he, he showed bunt and pulled it back and hit a long fly ball out to left center field for a double. Oh, a hidden ball trick at uh, third base, and they they get Jeffus out at third base. Well, how about that? So Moorhead is erased at third base. That's out number one. Well, that uh, takes a little takes a little shine off of it for the for the Cardinals. There's a strike called to Moriyutsi. One man out, runner at second. The pitch, check the swing, took a strike, strike two on Mariette. Well, that'll fire up your pitcher too after giving up a double and then you're able to pull a sneaky trick like that and get a runner over at third base. Here's the pitch, curveball. He goes the other way, right to the shortstop. Sanchez, he'll throw him out at first base, not hit very hard. So the runner from second does advance to third, and then Marshall throws across there to uh, chase him back as he rounds the, ba the bag at third base. 6-3 on the putout. There are two away now. Jeffus, 90 feet away at third base. <laughs> I'm sure he is. Uh, he's looking to make sure that, uh, that Clover doesn't have the ball on his glove over there at third base. He showed him his empty glove. Here's the first pitch. There's a strike call to Landon Morgan and Denise. Morgan is a big fella. He bats from the right side. He is their first baseman. The 0-1 pitch from Glass. That is hit down the left field line. That's headed toward the corner. That'll drive in the run. Morgan rounds first. He will stay put right there. So Morgan with an RBI single. And the Fairview Cardinals get on the, bro on the board first. Could have been a lot worse, though. Not for the uh, the hidden ball trick there at third base to get more hit out. One nothing Fairview top of the first. Two out Morgan at first. Gill at the plate takes the pitch low ball one. One ball no strikes. I am guessing that Landon Morgan over there at first is not going to be a threat to run. He is a big fella. Now pitch comes inside a fastball and that hits the the hitter Herman Gill. So Morgan will get down to second base as uh, Gill is hit by the pitch. Runners at first and second for Fairview. For Dason Connolly. He is their pitcher. The pitch from Glass. Fastball foul back out of play. A little later on, Gunnar Magnolia Regional Medical Center mid-game summary. Don't have to leave Magnolia to receive high-level surgical care. The staff at the Magnolia Regional Medical Center Surgical Clinic provide both inpatient and outpatient sur sur surgical services right here at home. There's a ground ball to the second baseman, Alston, and he throws out Jason Connolly. That takes care of the Cardinals in the top of the first inning. They do score one run in the inning on two base hits. There were no errors, and two men left the board. After a half inning, Fairview won. Magnolia coming to bat. This is Panther Baseball. Spring into another season of life with Chambliss and Davis Family Practice in Magnolia. Chambliss and Davis accept patients of all ages, from newborn to elderly, with most insurances accepted, including United Healthcare. They do primary care, weight loss management, DOT physicals, cool scoping, BioT hormone physicals, and more. They're open Monday through Thursdays from 8 till 4 and Fridays 8 till noon. Your patient applications are being accepted. Be ready for whatever life brings you with Chambliss and Davis Family Practice, where your primary care is their primary concern. I'm Faith Armstrong. If you worry about your safety or your loved ones, Columbia County Ambulance Service would like you to know about CareLink. CareLink provides an instant link to emergency response every minute, every day. The standard version provides protection surrounding the home, and a mobile unit offers protection anywhere. The area covered includes Columbia, Hempstead, Nevada, Washita, Lafayette Counties, and Claiborne Parish. Call Columbia County Ambulance today to schedule your installation. 
What do I like about being a local agent for Farm Bureau Insurance? Above all, I like helping people using my insurance experience to make Columbia County a better, safer place. Insurance is a necessity, and I take pride in helping people find the right coverage for all of their needs. Hi, I'm Mike Jones, Agency Manager at Farm Bureau Insurance. Give me a call at 870-234-1966 and let me show you how we can save you time and money. A little later on, we will spotlight a Panther. Every game, we spotlight a Panther. Join us a little later for our Bot Call Bank Panther Spotlight. Bot Call Bank, local bank, local people. Serving us in South Arkansas since 1903. Three locations to serve you at Bot Call Bank. They are on North Jackson and Magnolia, on Thomas Street and Stamps, and on Richmond Road in Texarkana. Enjoy the benefits of hometown banking at Bot Call Bank. Well, starter for... The Cardinals all warmed up. His uh, teammates gave him a one nothing lead in the top of this inning. And Dason Connolly, the right-hander, is on the mound. And the first man he'll face is Camden Smith, the Panther center fielder. Camden Smith, then Braden Sanchez, then the first baseman, D.J. Marshall. There's the pitch to Smith. Outside and back to the backstop for ball one. Mason Connolly is a junior for these Cardinals. He's that on the mound. Defense playing straight away. Here's the pitch. A swing and a miss for strike one. One ball, one strike to Camden Smith. Defensively for the Cardinals, Michael Betts is at third. Max Bradshaw is at short. Herman Gill at second. There's a pitch fouled off to the right side and out of play. Over at first is Landon Morgan. In the outfield left to right, Zach Moorhead, Quinton Browning, and Maury Utsi. Behind the plate, Ben McKinney and Dason Connolly on the mound. Here's the one two. That was head high. He ducked away from that one for ball two. Two balls, two strikes to Camden Smith. Connolly's next delivery. That one came in. That almost got him a fastball tail and inside. Count full. Three balls, two strikes to Camden Smith. Connolly brings another payoff pitch outside. Ball four, leadoff walk for Camden Smith. Leadoff man is aboard. Braden Sanchez will come to the plate now for Magnolia. Sanchez bats from the right side. He steps in to face Dason Connolly for the first time here this afternoon. Smith gets his lead over at first. Connolly's pitch. That's chopped towards short. Bradshaw, big second hop, throws to second for one. Not going to have time to get the runner at first base. Just not hit nearly hard enough, and it took two hops before getting to Bradshaw at short. So they get the force play at second. 6-4. There's one away, and Braden Sanchez aboard at first base on a fielder's choice. D.J. Marshall to the plate for the Panthers. He's their first baseman. Sanchez a good lead over at first. First pitch to Marshall. Outside for ball one. Good crowd. Again, don't have to worry about uh, bringing your sunscreen today. Cloudy skies. 1-0 pitch. First to throw to first base. Runner dives back in there safely. So one nothing Fairview lead. We're in the bottom of the first inning. Sanchez came off the bag there at first with the pitch, but uh, not going pitch outside. Two balls, no strikes to D.J. Marshall. Jack Waller of the Panther cleanup hitter on deck. Sanchez lead pitch outside, and that gets through the catcher, and it's going to the backstop, and Sanchez is going to second base. That was 
down in the dirt, but he got it wasn't that far away from him. He's got his mitt down on it, but it just it just snuck underneath. So three ball, no strike count to Marshall. Pitch inside ball four. Walked him on four straight. Second walk of the inning for Connolly. Panthers with runners at first and second. Jack Waller steps to the plate. Panther right fielder. From the stretch, Connolly looks to second, comes to the plate. Down the middle for strike one. First and second with one out in the bottom of the first inning. Gage Clover, Panther third baseman on deck. Connolly's pitch, curveball, that's tossed up. Out toward right field, right fielder Utzi. Uh, Coming on late, but he makes the catch. And the runner at second, Sanchez, not able to advance unless he throws it away, which he he almost did. He threw it toward the way toward the outfield side of third base, but third baseman able to go get it. Keep Sanchez at second base. So Waller flies to right. Now there are two out. It's up to Gage Clover to try to get a runner home. Jackson touch moves on deck for the Panthers. Sanchez at second, Marshall at first. And the pitch, that's it in the air to right field. Right fielder up, so he won't have to move much on this one. And he hauls it in for out number three. So the Panthers uh, get a couple of base runners, but uh, cannot bring anybody around to score. No runs, no hits, no errors. Two men left on base after one. Can the Fairview leads one nothing. This is Panther baseball. Mm. Get up after a great night's sleep. Get the fitness machines, including the Peloton bike. Then enjoy a hot breakfast prepared by someone else. Log on to the Wi-Fi and get to work. Sound like your house? I'm talking about the Hampton Inn by Hilton in Magnolia. If you live in Magnolia, you probably don't need a roof with all these benefits. So tell your family and friends when they visit about the Hampton by Hilton, where they will earn Hilton honor points. And nothing says you can't treat yourself to a night at the Hampton. KBA AM 630 and FM Translator 107.1, K296 FC for Magnolia, Arkansas. Studios at 402 North Washington, no Walmart Broadcasting Station. Investment mistakes can be costly. One common mistake is too much buying and selling. Excessive trading can run up fees and taxes and disrupt your long-term financial strategy. Another mistake is failing to create a good mix of investments. Don't try to time the market. No one can really predict when prices reach lower high points. Also, don't develop unrealistic expectations. And don't make the mistake of simply comparing your investment results to those of a market index. Talk to an Edward Jones financial advisor, Laura Kroll, Patrick Dodd, Steve Hardy, or Mark Woods. Edward Jones, member SIBC. Bottom three in the order due up for the Fairview Cardinals here in the top half of the second inning. Michael Betts, Ben McKinney, and Quinton Browning as Dale and Glass back to the mound for the Panthers. Glass stepped off as the hitter stepped out. Coach Keith looking down to uh, left. I don't know if something... I'm not sure, but anyway, we're resuming now. Here's the first pitch fastball in there to Michael Betts, a swing and a miss for strike one. Again, Betts, McKinney, and Browning go up for the Cardinals. If anybody gets on, they'll get back to the top of the order. Here's the one. Trying to check the one around, strike two. A breaking ball down to the dirt. So Betts behind on the count, no balls, two strikes. Pitches off the stretch, whether they're on or not. Breaking pitch, swing and a miss. Down on strikes goes the hitter, Michael Betts. He started to first, but uh, the catcher, Jack Stevens, held that one in. He was breaking down on almost in the dirt, but he got his mid under it. So a strikeout of Michael Betts to start the second inning. And then the key, their, check, their catcher rather, steps to the plate. First pitch from Glass. Fastball is a strike. No balls, one strike. Happy birthday to Jeff Harrington today. Jeff, you can be here and Jeff uh, 
this week, bringing you some Panther games. There's a foul ball to the right side out of play. I wonder what kind of feast Shannon Harrington has prepared for Jeff for supper tonight. I'm sure it is marvelous. And if not Jeff, there's always... There's always food. <laughs> this is outside for a ball. Strikes is the count. Panthers have two more games this week. Go to Dequeen tomorrow. There's the one two pitch combo. Strike three. Cole caught the inside corner. A beauty of a breaking pitch. The hitter, McKinney, thought it was inside, but late break, it broke back and caught the inside corner. And McKinney walks back to the dugout, kind of dejected. So back to back strikeouts to start the second inning. And Quentin Browning to the plate for the Cardinals. Fastball missed outside for ball one. one nothing Fairview. We're in the top of the second inning. Another pitch from Glass. That's swung on. He tried to hold up. That one was up. One ball, one strike. He went around. If Browning gets in, they'll get back to the top of the order. One one pitch. Well, that was up around the chin. Ducked away from ball two. Two balls, one strike. Both these teams, three and two in conference game. It's a big, big game. Here's the pitch fastball. It's low. So after striking out the first two, Glass behind on the count, three and one to Quentin Browning, their number nine hitter. Here's the three and one. And he missed inside with that one, a fastball for ball four. Tight walk. Puts Browning aboard. Zach Moorhead comes to the plate. He walked to uh, begin the first inning. He got the third on a double by Grant Jeffers, but then he was erased over at third base with the hidden ball trick. Throw the first run and got back. That's Quentin Browning over at first base. He gets his lead. The pitch on the way, and that's down the dirt, and it goes to the backstop, and down the second goes Quentin Browning. So the Cardinals with Browning in scoring position now for Zach Moorhead. And back on the mound, now Jess from the stretch to the plate. Swing and a miss for strike one. He had to throw strikes. When he throws strikes, he's striking people out. As uh, evidenced by the first two in this inning. Those were his first two strikeouts of the game. He's, here's the next pitch outside. It's two and one. But Dillon walked one and hit one in the first inning, and he, and he has walked one here in the second inning. The pitch on the way. Foul back. Came off the umpire's mask after after coming off the bat. And goes to the backstop. Two balls, two strikes on Zach Moorhead. So a two two count. Runner at second with two out. Glass is his sign. Now just from the stretch to the plate. And he went around. He tried to check his swing, but he went around. Down swinging is Zach Moorhead. So three strikeouts in the inning for Dale and Glass. With a walk mixed in. No runs, no hits, no errors, one left. Go to the bottom of the second. one nothing. Camden Fairview leading. This is Panther Baseball. Not 
Families take care of each other. There's no such thing as an unhappy customer when you do business with us. And if you have a problem, we have a problem. We're going to fix it. That's just how we do business at Jim Golden Ford Lincoln. Come see what it's like to buy from family. I'm Jim Golden, and I'll guarantee you'll like it. Come see for yourself what we say at Jim Golden Ford Lincoln in Camden, where the dealer makes the difference. At L. Jennings Law, we understand that your legacy isn't just about assets. It's about money. Dan Gregory back with you from Panther Field. As we go into the bottom of the second inning, Jackson Touch, the left fielder, will lead it off. Then the D.H. Walker Carter and the pitcher, Dalen Glass. Panthers trail 1-0. Touch stands in. Here's his pitch from Connolly. That is right down central for Stierreich 1. Later, our Magnolia Regional Medical Center mid-game summary will be coming your way. Here's the 0-1 pitch. That's chopped towards short. Bradshaw is charging, but the third baseman gets. Cuts across in front, and he gets Jackson Touch at first base. Shortstop Bradshaw was not going to have a play on that as it was hit too softly, but Betts able to cut across and come up with it and throw Touch out just barely over at first base. So there's one away. Walker Carter, the DH to the plate. Uh, Dale and Glass moves on deck. Connolly's pitch. Breaking pitch. Drops in for a strike. The 0 1 comes quickly. Another breaking pitch that misses outside. You always feel tired and exhausted even after a night of sleep. You may suffer from a variety of common sleep disorders. The pitch, fastball, misses outside. The Magnolia Regional Medical Center Sleep Lab can diagnose disorders and get you on your way to a full night's rest. Ask your health care provider about a sleep study at Magnolia Regional Medical Center. Off-speed pitch and a late swing and a foul at the plate off the bat of Walker Carter. Two balls, two strikes. Here's the next pitch to Carter. Breaking pitch, strike three called on the inside corner. Carter down looking, and that's out number two. First two Panthers retired here in the second inning, and the pitcher, Dalen Glass, will come to the plate for Magnolia. Wind is blowing in. It's a pretty good little clip. They're talking about like up to 20 mile an hour with the wind today, so uh, probably not going to be any balls leaving the yard today. There's a foul back and out of play. I'm hoping uh, Dale and Glass proves me wrong. but No balls, one strike. Connolly set. Here comes his pitch. And that's a fastball up. One ball, one strike. Again, feel free to come on out to the... Uh, Ballpark, here's the 1-1 pitch. That's it, high in the air. Out to left field. Left fielder doesn't have to move much. Zach Moorhead hauls it in. And that takes care of the Panthers. They go in order in the bottom of the second inning. one nothing. Fairview on top. This is Panther Baseball. At L. Jennings Law, we understand that your legacy isn't just about assets. It's about family, future, and impact. Specializing in estate planning, elder law, and disability, we bring big firm expertise to our local community. Whether you're looking to protect your hard-earned wealth, navigate the complexities of elder care, or secure disability rights, we're here for you. Dial 501-501-WILL or visit ljenningslaw.com. Now with offices in Magnolia and Little Rock, L. Jennings Law, a good steward firm. Farmers Bank and Trust has always been about local service and investment in our community. And to prove that, we've just opened a brand new full service branch in Welcome at our Arco location. We've also opened a new My Farmers iTeller ITM for extended live teller coverage in Taylor. These branches will offer all of our great services and even more convenience for our customers. So stop by today and come home to Farmers Bank. Farmers Bank and Trust, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. 
As leaders in the automotive industry, Magnolia Motor Company believes in going the extra mile for our customers. That's why we offer only the best inventory with competitive pricing designed to fit your budget and make the vehicle of your dreams become reality. And that's not all. At Magnolia Motor Company, we value your time and convenience. That's why we offer a virtual shopping experience, allowing you to explore our inventory from the comfort of your own home. We are conveniently located on the 7982 Bypass in Magnolia. Call 234-4777 or visit our website at magnoliamotorcompany.com. Magnolia Motor Company. Quality first. Fairview with their two, three, and four hitters due up in the top of the third inning. They lead one nothing. Dylan Glass back to the mound. His pitch, a fastball, a little outside for ball one. Glass walks out around the mound a little bit. Now back on the rubber. And here's the 1 0. He bunted at it and missed for strike one. One ball, one strike to Grant Jeffess. He'll be followed by Maury Utsi and the uh, first baseman, Morgan, uh, Landon Morgan. One, one pitch on the way. Breaking pitch. Swing and a miss. Good drop on that curveball. One, two count. Three strikeouts in the last inning for Glass with, a, with one, ten. Curveball, strike three, called on Grant Jeffers. That was a beauty. So Jeffers has rung up. The last four outs recorded by Dalen Glass have been strikeouts. Two looking, two swinging. Mariette, he's at the plate, grounded to short. His first time up. The pitch from Glass. Pass ball. That's it down the right field line. Right fielder Waller going back. That's off the wall, high up the wall. Bounces away from Waller a little bit, but he'll get it back in quickly. So he dropped at his feet, and it's a stand-up double for Moriutzi. Double man. He just about made a, made a liar of me. I told you there wouldn't be many balls. Well, not many hit out, but that was down the line. Again, the wind is blowing in pretty much from center. So let's see doubles. He's in scoring position for the Cardinals. Landon Morgan at the plate. Breaking pitch, strike one call. Morgan drove in the first run back in the first inning. He singled through the left side. Drove in Jeffers from second base. Let's see, rather, is down there now. There's a pop-up to the right side. Marshall may have a play on that now. Wind's going to blow it out of play. So just a foul ball, strike two on Landon Morgan. Runner at second with one out for the Cardinals. Glass ready as Morgan steps back in. Here's his 0-2 pitch. That's a curveball inside. One ball, two strikes to Landon Morgan. Herman Gill. Second baseman for the Cardinals stands on deck. Next pitch to Morgan. Swing and a miss. He's down on strikes. Morgan strikes out. Good off speed pitch there from Dale and Glass. Hit him out front. Hit him reaching too. So he strikes out. That's out number two. And Herman Gill to the plate. He was hit by a pitch and stranded in the first. Pitch for Glass. Low and outside for ball one. Let's see, still standing down there at second. See if Glass can get Herman Gill and end this uh, fear view threat. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. High fastball, swing and a miss by Gill. The Fairview pitcher, Connolly, on deck. Ball and a strike to Herman Gill. A couple of looks back at second. Now Glass delivers. Fast ball, foul back. Got him set up, one and two. Last five outs have been strikeouts. Let's see if he can get the hat trick again here in the third inning. 
Ball and two strikes on Gill. Glass from the stretch to the plate. Breaking pitch. Misses low and inside. Evens the count. Two balls and two strikes. Gill takes a deep breath. I don't think he was 100% sure that was, was not a strike. It's a two ball, two strike count. Glass's pitch. Swing and a miss. He went around, couldn't help himself, and he's tagged out as he runs into the catcher. After the catcher, Stevens came up with the baseball, and that makes the tag pretty simple. So, again, three strikeouts in the inning for Dale and Glass. No runs on one hit, no errors, one man left on. So we go to the bottom of the third. It's one to nothing, Camden. This is Panther Baseball. Magnolia Travel Center is the only homegrown fuel stop in Magnolia and offers premium non-ethanol gas. Great for ATVs, boats, lawnmowers, and other small engines. They also offer off-road diesel. These fueling options are offered at your convenience night or day, seven days a week, and are located on the last two fueling bays in the back of the store. Endless breakfast options, daily lunch specials, a flavor shot fountain center, salads, pizzas, and more. Lower prices with a local feel. It's Magnolia Travel Center. Full menus available on magnoliatravelcenter.com. Buy one, get one for a dollar at McDonald's. Or as we like to call it, the can't have just one deal. Mix and match a flaky sausage biscuit, savory sausage McMuffin, sausage McGriddles, or crispy hash browns. Want two sausage biscuits? Buy one, get one for a dollar. Want a sausage biscuit and hash browns? That's cool too. Choose more of what you love. Buy one, get one for a dollar at McDonald's. Prices and participation may vary. Valid for item of equal or lesser value. It cannot be combined with common meal. Every game we spotlight a Panther. Join us later for our Bot Call Back Panther Spotlight. We'll light a different Panther athlete each game on our Bot Call Back Panther Spotlight. Bot Call Bank, local bank, local people with three locations to serve you in Magnolia Steps and Texarkana. I got to tell uh, Coach Sharp that if they come up short of pencils at Bot Call Bank, it's because Tom brought me some out here to keep, keep score with. <laughs> <laughs> just doing just just doing a good deed, coach. No balls, one strike to Turner Alston. The first pitch from Connolly. Here's another. Fastball riding in on him off the fist, pulls it foul. It's a ball and a strike to Turner Alston after Turner, then the top of the order. Camden Smith and Braden Sanchez. 1-1 one, one delivery. Breaking pitch hit in the air to left field. Left field to more had started in now going back. He ain't going to get there. He'll get it all one hot, though. But Austin going to leg it out into a double. See, it's one uh, that surprised Morehead in left field. Like I said, his first step was in, and then he had to hightail it. But uh, fortunate for him that it took a good hop for him, and he ran right into it on one hop and was able to get it back in quickly. Lead-off double for Turner Austin. So Panthers have the uh, tying run second base with nobody out to lead off the third inning. Camden Smith at the plate. He shows bunt. He popped up the butt, but it's going to drop. It went deep. The, the pitcher shovels over to third base, and he's in there safely. The, that ball was bunted so deeply off the bat of Camden Smith. He popped it up really. I doubt that that's what he was trying to do, but it worked out very well. It went deep. The, the pitcher going toward third to get it off the hop, and then he just shoveled it over to third base, but not in time to get Turner Alston. So Smith on first, and Alston at third with nobody out for Magnolia. Braden Sanchez at the plate. Pitches away for ball one. Y'all going to call it a single? I, I'm going to say I think so, too. Yeah, he never would have got him at first base. That was his only option was third. There's a pop-up off the fist, uh, basically a swinging pop-up butt uh, off the bat of Sanchez and pops out to the kid, to the pitcher, Connolly. So there's one away. Panthers with two on and one out now. D.J. Marshall steps in. 
Connolly from the stretch. Runner goes from first. The pitch is, uh, I think, high. Ball one. And no throw down to second base. Camden Smith steals it. With two runners in scoring position now. Catcher had no desire to throw to second base. One ball, no strikes. Pitch from Marshall. Uh, excuse me, Connolly way outside to Marshall. Two balls, no strikes. Jack Waller's on deck. Two in scoring position for the Panthers. One man out. Here's the pitch. Breaking pitch off the end of the bat. Little number right side. That's going to go foul. He might have legged that one out. The only guy that had a chance to play it, had it stayed fair, was the first baseman. So he'll return, Marshall will, to the batter's box. Two and one the count on Marshall. Both these pitchers here today, Connolly and Glass, have got good movement on their breaking pitches. There's a pitch outside in the dirt. It's three and one. They're also, at times, a little wild. But strikeout total now up to six for Dale and Glass. Connolly has just one thus far. 3-1 delivery to Marshall coming. That's up and in, a fastball, ball four. Bases full of Panthers. Not necessarily for, for Camden, that's not necessarily a bad thing as that loads the bases up and gives them a double play opportunity. Jack Waller getting instruction from Coach Muldoon as he comes down to have a chat with him. Waller will step back in the box now. His base is full of Panthers. One man out. Jack Waller at the plate. The pitch from Connolly. Fly ball right side out of play. Pitch up. A little out. Got around a little late on it. And that fastball. No balls, one strike. To Waller. That's the river. Breaking pitch. That's lined out to right center field. That's down for a base hit. That's two will score. And as around third comes Camden Smith, the throw into second base. And Jack Waller drives in two for the Panthers as he hits a screamer out into right center field. So the Panthers take the lead two to one. Jack Waller drives in two. Marshall stopped at second base as the throw came back in from the right side, right there in front of him. Swing on a foul off the bat of Gage Clover over toward the cam, the dugout on the third base side. Clover, the third baseman, flew out to right his first time up. Here's the 0-1. Fastball low and outside, one ball and one strike. In the bottom of the third, Magnolia has put their first runs on the board. They're up two to one on Fairview. Pitch to Clover, high two and one, or yeah, two and one to Gage Clover. Jackson touch would be next for Magnolia. Runners at first and second with one out. Pitch to Clover. Held up, it's in the dirt, gets away from the catcher, and both runners will advance. And a wild pitch from Jason Connolly. So now two in scoring position for Magnolia. Three ball, one strike count to Gage Clover. Connolly shakes off a couple of signs. He's still shaking him off, and uh, finally time asked for and granted to Gage Clover. Step back in now. Three balls and a strike. They came to agreement a little quicker this time. First, the next pitch in, and it is in inside to Gage Clover. Ball four. That loads the bases once again for Magnolia. That is the th third walk. Fourth walk, excuse me, of the game for Connolly and coach for the Cardinals out to talk to his pitcher. A letter we got our Magnolia Regional Medical Center mid game summary coming your way. The American Cancer Society recommends that women receive annual mammograms 
Beginning at age 40 at Magnolia Regional Medical Center, they offer state-of-the-art digital mammography in a comfortable and friendly environment. Call to schedule your appointment at 235-3516. Also, every game is Spotlight of Panther. That will be coming up later. Join us for our Bot Call Bank Panther Spotlight. Bot Call Bank in Magnolia, Stamps, and Texarkana. Enjoy the benefits of hometown banking at Bot Call Bank. Troy Keith started to the dugout and stopped and extended the conversation a little bit with his pitcher. Then the base umpire kind of chased him off. He's back to the dugout now. Base is full of Panthers with one out in the bottom of the third inning. Magnolia leads 2-1. to one. Jackson touch at the plate. The pitch. Uh, this is high for ball one. It'll look like a, a get me over fastball, but it went high. He didn't get it over. One ball, no strikes. Two touch. Next pitch comes. That one down the middle for a strike. One ball, one strike. Here's the next delivery. That's hit high in the air to right field. That's going to be trouble for the right field. Rossi comes on late. It drops in front of him. One run will score for the Panthers. Actually, yeah, one run will score. Everybody will move up 90 feet. The throw ends up over at third behind the second runner, Jack Waller, but he dives back in safely. That just, that, the, the right fielder had fooled him out there in right field, but going into the wind, you knew that the wind was going to blow that one down, and it did, and Nutsy was unable to get there. So that's an RBI single for Jackson Touch. Little little flare into right field. So one run comes in to score. It's the third run of the inning. Coach for Fairby talking with the uh, home plate umpire. Not sure what that conversation was about, but... Base is still full of Panthers. Walker Carter at the plate. Here's the pitch from Connolly. Umpire, did he call that a strike or not? He started, he raised his finger, and then he brought it back down. I don't know. <laughs> okay. It's outside. <laughs> He's just messing with me, isn't he? One ball, no strikes to Walker Carter. Next pitch, fastball outside. One and one, or two, excuse me, two and oh to uh, Walker Carter. Pitch on the way. Outside ball three. Well, he's in danger of walking in. Another run. Pitcher Connolly is upset that that wasn't called a strike, but that ball was outside. Here's the 3 0. And that's low and outside for ball four. That's going to walk in a run. He walked him on four straight pitches. So an RBI walk for Walker Carter. Walker was a walker. He walked him in. That runner in from third base. And second baseman comes in to talk to his pitcher now, trying to relax him a little bit. He is visibly shaken out there on the mound that he can't throw a strike. He's wanting help from the umpire, but none of those four was in the strike zone. The hitter, Dale and Glass, he's the ninth man to bat in the inning and a fastball at his head. He had to duck away from that one. They are trying quickly to get, get a man loose in the bullpen. That's left-hander Peyton Schrader, a freshman for the, for the Cardinals in the bullpen. Here's the 1-0 pitch. That's foul back. Glass might have chased one there out of the strike zone. One ball, one strike. One one delivery. Breaking pitch. He just couldn't lay off of it. That, that again might have been a little high. It's one and two, though, on Dale and Glass. Still just one man out. Bases full of Panthers. One two delivery. Down on strikes goes Glass with a fastball swing and miss. So that's. Once again, just uh, out number two. Turner Alston started this inning with a double to left. And he'll bat again. Four runs have scored in the inning for Magnolia. They're up four to one. Pitch to Alston, swinging a miss, strike one. 
4-1 Panthers. Here's the next one from Connolly. Ground ball to the shortstop. Underhands to second for the force play. And that will retire the Panthers, but not before they score four runs in the inning on uh, four base hits. There were no errors and three men left on base for Magnolia. We have played three, four to one. Magnolia leads. This is Panther Baseball. Getting your prescriptions filled is easy at Prince Pharmacy in Magnolia. Become one of their many satisfied customers. You can refill your prescriptions with Prince Pharmacy's mobile app, also with their website, PrincePharmacyRx.com. Prince Pharmacy has a 24-hour refill line, too. 234-7292. Call before noon for same-day free delivery. They have a convenient drive through too, at Prince Pharmacy in the Southern Medical Group Clinic at 211 East Stadium in Magnolia. Rocket Fast Car Wash. Rocket Fast. It's a blast. And your vehicle is clean. Rocket Fast Unlimited wash plans are the best way to keep your car spotless. Now our washes and plans are even more affordable. Did you know you can purchase our Fast Pass for the price of a single wash? That's right. Wash your car as many times as you want for 30 days for the price of a single wash. There has never been a better time to get your Fast Pass. Join thousands of others who already enjoy unlimited washing at all of our locations. Rocket Fast. The fast and easy way to wash your car. Fairview pitcher Jason Connolly will lead off the top of the fourth. That uh, that left-hander continues to throw. Peyton Schrader continues to throw in the Fairview bullpen. So we'll see. But that may be an indication that Connolly's day is done on the mound. He was having some severe difficulties with the strike zone in the bottom of the third. Pitch to Connolly. Fastball misses inside for ball one. Jason Connolly, Michael Betts, and Ben McKinney. Six, seven, and eight hitters for the Fairview Cardinals. Do up here in the top of the fourth. The 1-0 pitch inside. It's a two-ball, no strike count. Work in our butt call bank. Panther spotlight as we go in this inning. There's a ground ball to the shortstop. Sanchez fields and throws him out. 6-3, one out. Michael Betts to the plate. It is time for our Panthers spotlight. Brought to you by Botcall Bank. 2125 North Jackson and Magnolia. 307 Thomas Street and Stamps and 3625 Richmond Road in Texarkana. Botcall Bank, local bank, local people. Enjoy the benefits of hometown banking at Botcall Bank. Rayleigh Heron in our butt call back, Panthers spotlight. First the pitch, and it's a strike to Michael Betts. Rayleigh, daughter of Whitney Neal. She, her favorite teacher, Mrs. Ladner, plays volleyball and softball. One pitch is high. Off campus plays club volleyball. After high school, Rayleigh plans to go to college and nursing school. 1-1 one, one pitch inside for a ball. Two balls and a strike to Michael Betts. Dale and Reddy, here's his pitch. Curveball stayed high. It's 3-1. And, and so Still, that left-hander is still throwing for uh, for Fairview down in the bullpen. There's a strike on the outside corner. Three and two on Michael Betts. Payoff pitch from Glass coming. Pass ball, a little low and inside ball four. One out walk for Michael Betts. And Ben McKinney, their catcher, he will come to the plate. About a double play ball that would work. Glass waiting for McKinney to step in. Now he does. Glass stretches. Now throws to first base. Chased him back. He was not very far off. Four to one. Magnolia leads here in the top of the fourth inning. The pitch from Glass. Fastball low and outside for a ball. 
So again, in our bot call, Bank Panther Spotlight, Rayleigh Heron. Again, bot call, Bank serving us in South Arkansas since 1903. One ball, no strikes to Ben McKinney. Throw to first, skipped it in there. And the dirt. Marshall couldn't pull it in, but the ball stayed right there by the bag. One ball, no strikes on Ben McKinney. Pitch on the way, up and in. Two and oh. Coach Muldoon going to go out and have a talk with his pitcher. Team just gave him a four to one lead, and uh, he's having trouble with the strike zone. But he's had trouble with the strike zone for uh, a good bit of the game. But when he's throwing strikes, he's striking people out. Like I said, he's got six strikeouts. Three in the second and three in the third. He has given up three hits, two doubles, and a single. Just one run. Glass has walked three and hit one. He's behind on the count to Ben McKinney. Two balls, no strikes after walking Michael Betts. Muldoon back to the dugout. Glass back on the hill. Now throws to first. Runners back in. It was a fastball he threw over there to Marshall over at first base. Here's a 2-0 to McKinney. He chops it to the left side. Foul. 2-1. and one. Runner was off with that pitch. A little hit and run going there. Glass from the stretch. Delivers. So we're going to miss for strike two. It's two balls, two strikes. Two two pitch from Glass is coming, and he hits him. A breaking pitch that started out too far inside and right into McKinney. So McKinney hit by the pitch. They'll have runners at first and second with one out. Courtesy runner in for McKinney will be Andrew Chambers. And to the plate, Quentin Browning. Pitch to him has popped up on the infield. Who wants it? Shortstop Sanchez comes in. He took control of that one, and it ends up not far to the uh, to the third base side of the pitcher's mound. But Sanchez took control, made the catch, two out. Top of the order now to Zach Moorhead. That wind is. Blowing at a pretty good clip, coming straight in. Throw to first base, and it gets away. The runner from second will advance to third. The runner at first will stay there. So they've got a runner 90 feet away now with the error on the throw in the dirt over at first base that got away from Marshall. And here's the pitch. There's a strike on the outside corner to the left-handed hitting Zach Moria. Glass gets a hit. Next one from Glass. He shows bunt, pulled it back, took it outside. Panthers at DeQueen tomorrow. Again, 5 o'clock first pitch. We'll be on the air at 445. And then Friday, they're at home against Ashdown. Showing bunt again. Bunts it, but bunts it, bunts it back over the backstop. Trying to push that over to the third base side, but got his back down a little too low and bunted it back out of play. So it's a one ball, two strike count to Moorhead. Pitch comes, curveball, that drop low. Runner at first base, that courtesy runner. He came way off the bag, but did not run. It's another good lead over at first base. Deuce is wild. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Runner does go. It's get out in the air to left field. It's going to be right at the left fielder. Jackson touch. 
to retire the Cardinals. In the inning, no runs on no hits. There was one error. Two men left on base as we go to the bottom of the fourth. It's 4-1. to one. Magnolia, this is Panther Baseball. Pickup truck, sports car, motorcycle, minivan, townhouse, two-story, farmhouse, fixer-upper. What you drive and where you live is different for everyone. So it's important to have insurance that fits your needs and is just right for you. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that, which is why our agents help you design a comprehensive auto, home, and life insurance plan. Insurance that fits just right. For a free personal protection review, contact Shelter Insurance agent Gary Don Farrow. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, the experienced team at Southern Caregivers provides expert care to you and your loved ones. Southern Caregivers also provides needed support for seniors, allowing them to remain in the comfort of their own home and maintain their independence. The nurturing and caring companions can be matched to meet emotional, spiritual, and physical needs of the individuals they care for. Call 501-463-9990 today and speak with one of our professionals or visit southerncaregiversar.com. Dan Gregory back with you from Panther Field. Magnolia up 4-1 to one over the Camden Fairview Cardinals. And the Panthers coming to bat in the bottom of the fourth inning. As uh, Magnolia sent 10 men to the plate in the last inning. Last hitter being Turner Alston. So leadoff man Camden Smith leads off the fourth for the Panthers. First pitch misses inside for ball one. One and O. Oh. Next one coming outside and low. Bring you our Magnair Regional Medical Center mid-game summary as we go on through this inning. At the MRMC Primary Care Clinic, you always feel like family. Dr. Neal and Becky Pierce treat patients of all ages. Pitch fouled back. Catcher may have a plate. Nope, going to go over the backstop. Dr. Neal and Becky Pierce treat patients of all ages and specialize in wellness checks and illness recovery. Call for an appointment at 235-3550. Magnolia with four runs on four hits. All four runs, all four hits came in the last inning in the third. Again, when Magnolia sent ten men to the plate, there's one foul back. 2-2 is the count on Camden Smith. He'll be followed by Braden Sanchez, then D.J. Marshall. The pitcher for Fairview, and he is back out there, Dason Connolly. And the pitch hits Camden Smith, a curveball, a good bite. Got Camden, so he's hit by the pitch. That is, I thought he had hit another batter, but apparently not. He has walked a few. That's his first hit by pitch. He has walked one, two, three, four, five batters. Panthers have four hits off of him. Sanchez at the plate. Pitcher steps off. Catcher, or the hitter, rather, asked for time and got it. Sanchez reached on a fielder's choice in the first and popped out to the pitcher in the third. Not a very big lead for Smith over at first. The pitch comes. It's lined out to right center field. That's going to get down for a base hit. San or a Smith, rather, around second. He's on his way to third base was headed to third. He had his mind set on third base when that one came off the bat. Good piece of hitting. Sanchez going with the pitch. So, Panthers with runners at first and third. And D.J. Marshall will be the hitter, but he may be hitting against another pitcher as uh, Coach Keith making a slow walk out to the mound for the, uh, for the Cardinals. I'm talking with his pitcher, and he's patting him on the back. So I'm thinking that may be all for him. They, they still had that uh, left-hander Schrader throwing in the bullpen, but uh, 
made an indication as of yet. Well, they are going to bring in a new pitcher. So we will have a new pitcher for Camden Fairview. We'll take a break and tell you about him when we come back. First two batters have reached in the fourth for Magnolia. They lead 4-1. to one. This is Panther Baseball. KBMA AM 630 and FM Translator 107.1. K296 FC for Magnolia, Arkansas. Studios at 402 North Washington. No Walmart Broadcasting Station. Southern Medical Group welcomes the newest member to their expert team, nurse practitioner Haley Quintana. Haley sees all patients, no matter the age, during the hours of 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Most insurances are accepted. Southern Medical Group has you covered no matter the health issue, from allergies and colds to DOTs and screenings. Stop by 211 East Stadium Street in Magnolia or call 870-234-5995. Southern Medical Group, our family, taking care. Of years. If you're like most Americans, you spend over eight hours a week in your car. So naturally, you want to be satisfied with its performance. That's why you need to know about Spindler Tire and Auto. Folks around here have been trusting Spindler Tire and Auto for over 17 years. They have 10 service bays to handle all kinds of repairs, tune-ups, brakes, mufflers, oil changes, tires, and more. Whatever your car or truck needs, trust the experts at Spindler Tire and Auto in the Dairy Queen Shopping Center, 521 East Main in Magnolia. Know you. So the uh, the pitcher, Max Bradshaw, comes on and pitches, and Jason Connolly. They'll just swap positions. Jason Connolly will be uh, the the shortstop now for the uh, Fairview Cardinals. Redshaw also a right-hander. Redshaw Jr. I don't know if this is right. Let's the uh, what I have listed him at 5'8", 155. I don't have information on all of their all of their personnel, but uh, found that on Scorebook Live. So may or may not be true. But anyway, he's the new pitcher. So the first two batters have reached. They both belong to the strutter, Jason Connolly. Bradshaw, the new pitcher for Fairview. First man he'll face is D.J. Marshall. Runners at first and third for Magnolia. Smith at third, Sanchez at first. And a throw to first, and the runner's back. Keep that tag applied as he stands up. Off the bag, just in case he takes his uh, hand off the bag. Good lead at first for Sanchez. Runner at third is Smith. Another throw to first, and he is back. They are assuming that Sanchez is going to be uh, going to be taken off for second base. I will assume that myself. Try to get down there in scoring position. A good lead. Bradshaw will throw his first pitch. The runner is going. It's an off-speed pitch. The throw down is not in time as Sanchez steals it. That was a very, very much off-speed pitch. And the catcher, McKinney, just really didn't have much of a chance to get his the, the, the runner, Sanchez. So he steals second. That pitch misses. Two balls, no strikes to D.J. Marshall. Jack Waller on deck for the Panthers. Here's the pitch. Curveball drops in there for a strike. Back to our Magnolia Regional Medical Center mid-game summary. Dale and Glass for the Panthers has given up just the one run and three hits in this game. There's a ground ball pass. The third baseman out into left field. Two runs are going to score for the for the Panthers. And down to second base is the throw came to third. He turned and looked home rather than keep an eye on D.J. Marshall. And Marshall heads up, takes second base. So Marshall with an RBI single but takes second on the throw. And he is uh, down at second base. He's in scoring position now for Magnolia. So two runs come in to score. 
Panthers lead 6-1. to one. Jack Waller comes to the plate. Pitch on the way. Curveball. He lays down a bunt to the third base side. Throw to first base. Come on, dude. Just get him at first base. But the sacrifice is successful. Marshall goes to third base. It's a uh, heck of a play there to turn and get that runner. That was a pretty good run laid down by Waller. Marshall to uh, Marshall to third. So he's 90 feet away. Pitch to Clover. Fly ball to right field. Let's see. He comes in. Makes the catch. And take it. And bounced away, and Marshall comes in to score. So a sacrifice fly for Gage Glover. Drives in another Panther run. There are two out now, and bases are empty. Yet to play Jackson touch. The pitch to him. Low and outside with a curveball. Ball one. Well, those first two runs scored this inning belong to the starter, Jason Connolly. So the first six runs are, are all his. But the seventh belongs to the current pitcher, Max Bradshaw. Curveball strike. Two touch. It's one ball, one strike. Steps back in the box and... Bradshaw delivers. Curveball missed inside. It's a two ball, one strike count. Bradshaw comes in with another. Fly ball down the right field line. That's going to be trouble. No, good good uh, job covering ground by Utsi out in right field. He makes the catch, and that will retire the Panthers. But the Panthers come up with three more runs in the inning on uh, two base hits. There were no errors and nobody left on base. We've played four, Magnolia Elite 7 1. This is Panther Baseball. Knock your taste buds out of the park with the Corner Clubhouse. 100 South Washington on the Magnolia Square. We're talking mouth-watering steaks cut in house, burgers, loaded nachos, salads, wraps, quesadillas, and more. Choose from an array of legendary baked potatoes like the chicken fajita and chicken bacon ranch. Menu updates, picks, and more. Search the Corner Clubhouse on Facebook. Daily specials, a full bar, big screens for the big games, and only a short stop away. It's the Corner Clubhouse. Satisfy your cravings for the Grand Slam today. Tri-County Oil is a proud sponsor of Magnolia Panther Sports. Tri-County is your number one source for a complete line of Exxon Mobil Oils, K-1 Kerosene, Mineral Spirits, Antifreeze, No-Tax Farm Diesel, Tax Paid Road Diesel, and 91-octane non-ethanol gasoline, plus gear oil, grease, motor and hydraulic oil, transmission fluids, and more. Tri-County Oil on North Vine in Magnolia. Open Monday through Friday, 7 to 5. Why would you go anywhere else for oil or gas? We appreciate your business at Tri-County Oil. So Panthers open it up a bit. They're up 7-1 to one on the Fairview Cardinals as we go into the fifth, the top of the fifth for Fairview. Their two, three, and four hitters do up. Mariuzzi, Landon Morgan, and Herman Gill. And Magnolia has a good pitcher out there. That is, uh, that's uh, Chambliss, isn't it? Yeah, we saw Chambliss at Malvern on, uh, on Thursday. Carter Chambliss, sophomore. So he is on in relief of Dale and Glass. He is ready to go. He finishes his uh, warm-up pitches. Did Dale and stay out there? Did he? Just a straight pitching change there and no uh, 
No defensive changes for the Panthers. Grant Jeffus leads it off for Fairview. First pitch, foul tip on a fastball, strike one. 7-1, Magnolia leads. Fairview, one run on three hits. There's a swing and a miss at a breaking pitch for Magnolia. They have seven runs on six hits. Fairview with one error. That's hit for Ashley Magnolia with one error. Cameron Fairview does not have an error. Two-strike count on Grant Jeffus. They're two, three, and four hitters due up here in the fifth. Jeffus, Hutsey, and Morgan. Campbell's pitch. Swing and a miss. Down on strikes goes Jeffus. He strikes out. One out in the fifth for Mari Utsi. Chambers came on in relief at, uh, at Malvern. He pitched two and a third. Did not give up a run, gave up just one hit, and he hit one batter. He had a pretty good outing there in two and a third innings for the Panthers at Malvern. First pitch misses ball one to Marietzi. Next pitch from Chambliss, breaking pitch. That's pulled through the hole on the right side. A base hit, and right now the ball gets through the right fielder, Waller. The runner down to second. He's going to make the turn and head to third. And Utsi will be in standing up in right field. It'll be a single and then an error on the right fielder. Gets Utsi to third base with one out. So they got a runner at third with one out. Magnolia with a 7-1 to one advantage, so... Anything too drastic. Landon Morgan at the plate. The pitch comes. Foul back to the backstop. Steerich one. He's singled in a run. So far, Fairview's only run in the first inning. Chambliss pitch. That's down in the dirt. So it's a ball and a strike. After the game, got our Domino's post-game show coming your way. Carrie had a deal for only $7.99 at Domino's, including all of their one-topping pizzas on any of Domino's five crusts. Domino's, East Main and Magnolia, and in Camden, just $7.99 each on those carry-out specials. Pitch misses outside. Two balls and a strike. Tomorrow, Domino's raising money. Here's the 2-1. Swing on a miss, strike two. Raising money for uh, C-Caps tomorrow. I don't know all the details. I'm going to try to find out. Two balls, two strikes to Landon Morgan. Breaking pitch, swing and a miss. He went around. And the catcher will throw to third base. They've got the runner in a rundown. Comes toward the plate. Catcher chases him back. Takes the throw. And now he takes him out. The catcher, the, the runner started to first base, and the umpire signaled that he caught it, and uh, not I, actually he ends up at third base, so apparently it did go into the dirt. But rather than throw to first, he looked and saw the runner off at third base, Utsi, and they got him in a rundown and got him out. But Morgan, Morgan does end up down at second base. So it'll be a strikeout and a fielder's choice, I guess. Get the uh, get the runner in a rundown and get him out. There's a base hit, an infield hit. To the, no, they, no, it's not. It's taking him out third base. The only play that Sanchez possibly had was if the runner was crazy enough to try to go to third base, and he was, and he was dead meat at third base. As Sanchez throws him out, and that retires the uh, Camden Fairview Cardinals. So they had uh, an excellent opportunity here in the fifth inning. They came up empty. Seven to one. Magnolia leads after four and a half. This is Panther Baseball.
The greenhouse cottages of Wentworth Place have been recognized as Arkansas's top short-term rehabilitation and long-term care facility by U.S. News and World Report. At Wentworth Place, their mission is to provide the highest quality care to their residents, and they are honored to receive this prestigious award. Their cottages are homes large enough to comfortably accommodate 12 elders with private rooms, complete bath, a shared living room, open kitchen, dining area, and a spa located in the heart of Magnolia. It's the greenhouse cottages of Wentworth Place. Visit cottagesofwentworthplace.com. Know what's nice? You could drive to Whataburger right now, if you wanted to. Yeah, you could hang a Louie, talk to Reggie at the counter, and get a freshly made 100% beef double meat Whataburger with melted cheese and fresh cut veggies on a five-inch bun. It's just the delicious freedom you have living in the land where there's Whataburger. Of course, some people aren't in that land. wonder what they're doing right now. Probably thinking about a road trip. Whataburger, just like you like it. Well, they swap around their defensive uh, positions once again as uh, Michael Betts, the third baseman, comes in to pitch, and then the pitcher, Max Bradshaw, goes to third. So Betts is the new pitcher. And uh, Bradshaw's day is done on the mound. So, again, Bradshaw moves over to third. Connolly stays out there at short. He was the starting pitcher. Then he he went to uh, went to shortstop after he was taken out. At that time, it was just a swap with him and Bradshaw, who, who was playing short. But now the third baseman and the pitcher swap out. The Panthers bat in the bottom of the fifth inning. The first pitch low and outside. Ball one to Walker Carter. It'll be Carter, then Glass, then Alston. Do up here in the bottom of the fifth for the Panthers. Or do we have a... No, excuse me. Excuse me. That's Chambliss. Chambliss for Glass. As they swap in the order when he came in to pitch. There's a strike on the outside corner. One ball, one strike. Here's the pitch. Curveball. Apparently a little bit low for a ball. So Carter Chambliss is on deck for Magnolia. Two and one the count to Walker Carter. And the pitch had missed outside. After the game, we're going to name our People's Bank player of the game. Those free checking accounts at People's Bank come with monthly statements that include copies of all your checks. You can open your new account with only one penny and get your choice of a large variety of free gifts. Time to try People's Bank, member FDIC. 3-1 pitch to Carter, way outside and all the way to the backstop for ball four. So leadoff walk for Walker Carter. That's his second walk of the day, and he's on to start the fifth for the Panthers. Panthers lead 7-1. to one. These two teams tied in the standings. They're both 3-2 and two in 4A7 conference play. The pitcher stepped off and faked the throw to first base. Had uh, Carter diving back in. Now gets a good lead at first. Here's the pitch. A swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch by Carter Chambliss. Seven one Magnolia. Here's the pitch outside. One ball, one strike. Next pitch comes. That's in the dirt and it gets away, and Carter's going to take second base. Wild pitch from Michael Betts. Gets Carter down to second. Two men. Got a man down at second base at second with uh, nobody out. A two ball, one strike count. The pitch comes. He pulls it foul over into the champ. 
the Camden Fairview dugout. There we go. Here's the fundraiser for tomorrow with Dominoes. First the 2-2 pitch to Chambliss. Pitcher's taking three looks to second. Now he comes in and a swing and a miss by Chambliss. He had a high fastball and he's down on strikes. Well, there's one out and Turner Alston will be the hitter for the Panthers. It's called Pizza for Pups. 2024 Seacamp's fundraiser. It is tomorrow. Coach for the uh, Cardinals, Troy Keith, going to go out and talk to his pitcher. So that Pizza for Pups fundraiser for Seacamp's all day tomorrow at Domino's in Magnolia. Delivery or carry out, just call 870-234-4141. I don't know if this works online or not. You'll have to check it out. But uh, you may need to uh, to call to, uh, to to make sure that it that it goes for C caps. Domino's Pizza in Magnolia is giving 20% of all purchases made tomorrow to the C caps shelter to help with the care of the uh, homeless pets housed at C caps at the shelter. So that's all day tomorrow. 20% off. All 20% will go. Not 20% off, but there's a pitch in the dirt. It's going to the backstop, and Carter's going to third base. Another wild pitch. Runner third with one out and a one ball, no strike count to Turner Alston. So, again, let me clarify that. It's not 20% off. It's 20% of all purchases made tomorrow at Domino's in Magnolia will go to CCAPS. So that's all day tomorrow. Call 234-4141 at Domino's. And, again, I don't know if that works uh, ordering online I don't, or, on the, or on the app. I'm not sure. That curveball is up and in. Two and O oh is the count to Turner Alston. Betts on the mound. Third pitcher of the day for Fairview. Here's his pitch. That has hit a ton, but he pulled it foul and out of play. And that, that goes over the Camden Fairview uh, bus. That one's going to end out, out, end up out on the street. Man, he hit that ball a ton, but he was way out in front of it. He hits it out of play. I'm afraid that's going to take a window out of the Fairview bus over there. Two balls and a strike to Turner Alston. Straighten that one out. Here's the pitch. Curveball outside. Three and one. Appeared to be very careful not to give him anything to pull there. The infield's in for the Cardinals. Three ball, one strike count. One man out. Runner at third. Pitch on the way. And that's off the fist. Foul back over the backstop and out of play. Three and two. Umpire. Oh, he's asking for more baseballs from the uh, Panther dugout. Ryan Roan delivers a couple of new baseballs for the home plate umpire. 3-2 count to Turner Alston. Payoff pitch from Betts, breaking pitch inside, ball four. So now first and third with one out. That is the second walk of the inning for the new pitcher, Betts. First and third with one out for Camden Smith. Here's the pitch. Pass lined out in the left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. In the score easily from third is Carter. The throw into third. The throw comes in there, and Alston slides in safely. And with the throw to third, Smith able to go down to second base. RBI double to left off the bat of Camden Smith, or single rather. He takes second on the throw. It's a single to left. And uh, Alston from first to third. So Panthers have runners at second and third. One run in. 
And Braden Sanchez at the plate. Eight to one, Magnolia. The pitch from Betts comes. Breaking pitch up high for a ball. After the game, we'll name our People's Bank player of the game. Before you lock in a mortgage rate online, talk to People's Bank first. People's Bank offers great rates on mortgage loans for new home purchases and refinancing. And they'll be with you every step of the way. People's Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Here's the pitch. That's just outside for a ball. Two balls, no strikes. Or is it one or another? Two and another. Excuse me. Panthers up eight to one. A home run from Sanchez would win it. It'd be a walk-off and... 10 run rule. It's come. That might be it. He hits it deep to left. Left fielder Morin going back. It's not going to clear the wall, but it'll bounce beyond the uh, left fielder. Two runs will score. And down to second base is Sanchez. He drives in two with a double to left field. And now the Panthers are up by nine at 10 to one. And DJ Martin will come to the plate. He'll have a chance to drive in the game ending run. Double to left off the bat of Braden Sanchez. Smith scored. Alston scored ahead of him. Three runs in the inning. Marshall at the plate. He's been on all three times. Walked twice and singled. He singles through the left side. The runner Sanchez to third. They're going to hold him up there. The throw toward the plate. Boy, he airmailed that one. Catcher was able to go back and get it and keep the runner at third base. But with the throw to the plate, Marshall was able to take second. A single. And then Marshall down to second. His run doesn't mean anything. It's Sanchez over at third when he crosses home. If he crosses home, this game will be over, and they're going to intentionally walk Jack Waller to load him up to uh, set up a force play at home. The infield is in. Everybody's in except the second baseman. So now they're going to bring him in, too, so the entire infield will be in. Jack Waller, again, the unintentional pass. Here's the pitch to Gage Clover. He took a strike, an off-speed pitch. Bases full of Panthers with one out. Clover, the eighth man to bat in the inning. A one pitch from Betts on the way. That's ripped, foul and out of play. And he turned on that one. But again, way out in front. Infield in a no ball, two strike count to Gage Clover. Betts from the stretch. To the plate. Swing and a miss. Down on strikes goes Clover. That's out number two. They still got another out coming. Jackson touched to the plate. Ninth man to bat in the inning for Magnolia. Get a runner across. He can get. Get one through anywhere and drive in that runner from third. A wild pitch would do. Here's the pitch from Betts outside ball one. Or a walk would do. A walk, a hit batter, a wild pitch, a base hit. Anything would get that runner on from third base. Sanchez standing over at, over at third. Bases full of Panthers. 1-0 pitch on the way. Outside, ball two. Umpire flinched a little bit like he thought about calling that a strike, but it was outside. It's a two ball, no strike count. Two o delivery. Foul back, two and one. Walker Carter is on deck, but he is, uh, we're not going to see him. Panthers are either going to win it or, or we're going to go to an extra inning. It's all in the hands of Jackson Touch and the pitcher, Michael Betts. Two and one, the count. Here's the pitch, outside and low. Three and one. 
touch has the green light. It's a three ball, one strike count. The base is loaded and two out. The uh, 10 run rule standing at third base in the person of uh, Braden Sanchez. Three balls and a strike. The pitch on the way. And that's foul back out of play. Count full now, three and two. Now it all comes down to this next pitch from Michael Betts. Betts back on the pitching rubber. Panthers have brought three across in this inning. They're up 10 to one. Three two pitch on the way. Goes to right. That's a base hit. And that's a game winner for the Panthers as Touch singles to right. And that's a Magnolia Panther winner as the Panthers win it by the 10 run rule in five. 11 to one. Magnolia over the Camden Fairview Cardinals. Got our Domino's post game show coming up. Name our people's back player of the game. This is Panther Baseball. What do I like about being a local agent for Farm Bureau Insurance? Above all, I like helping people using my insurance experience to make Columbia County a better, safer place. Insurance is a necessity, and I take pride in helping people find the right coverage for all of their needs. Hi, I'm Mike Jones, agency manager at Farm Bureau Insurance. Give me a call at 870 870- 234-1966 and let me show you how we can save you time and money. Hey guys, Lucas Chicken back to tell you about health 